weight loss journey blog it's sunday morning it's overcast i like overcast days because they're very chill uh, and it's it's not one of those nasty overcast days where it's like oh no what are we doing oh whoa what was it all that what is all that oh that's light um yeah i'm outside of sam's club i didn't realize they didn't open until 10 a.m i am going there to get some chia seeds for a formula i'm going to try out on something also uh probably some chicken because I'm going to be making a uh, chicken alfredo. Um, this will be a tracked calorie. This will be a proportion cal a calorie calorie tracked alfredo, um, and uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And I'm also going to get some stuff to make some of my own breakfast uh, egg bagels. I used to make. I used to make these um, these muffins, right? And they were. And this is when I first lost the weight. The first time I would make these like religiously and I would kept where I don't know why I stopped. I must have got tired of it or something or it might have got hard for me to clean. But I would make these um, muffins made out of egg and sausage or whatever meat I want. I would combine egg and it was it was it was practical because one, it reheated very easily Two, um, it was very easy for me to track my calories doing that. Right. So um, I haven't done that in like probably years. I just one of those things where you just kind of lose track. When you don't like document, like keep track of what you're doing, you just kind of move on to other things. So it's like this late weight loss and nutrition. So I'm going to get some like turkey sauces to combine with the egg to make this sort of concoction of egg and turkey sauces that I can make into these muffins that are calorie tracked. So that when I start my day, I'll be able to just heat that up probably at work or something like that. Um, since I'm trying to put push my eating later on in the day so i'm not so hungry during the day um it's easier for me to kind of go without it in the morning so doing that uh i saw that i'm 285 ish today so i'm hoping that i land at 285 tomorrow um we'll see and um uh, i still got gigs to do today and everything so it's going to be a very constructive day it's going to be a good day oh two things joy I, I realize that I don't have a lot of joy a lot of times, uh, especially in my times of solitude. And I've really been doing some soul searching on that, you know, because I may not have everything I want or I may not be in a position I want to be. And because of that, you know, I, I, I it kind of rob, I allow it to rob my joy, just simple joy, joy in making music, just joy in living. So. That's one thing I've been soul searching on. Second thing I've been soul searching on is the motivational talk by I think Zig Ziglar talks about um, be, do, have. Be who you want to be. Do what you need to do to become who you want to be. And that equals having what you want based on the person who you are. So, for instance, I want to be fit, right? I do not want to be fat. I want to be fit. So, be. I want to be fit. What do I need to do? I need to eat the foods that a fit person would fit and not a fat person would fit. So therefore, I need to monitor my food and create my own food. Eat that instead. Track that so that the weight will come down. And then I will then have being fit. I will have more, not necessarily fitness because that's more working out gray area there. But I will have less pounds. How about that? I will be fit by doing what I need to do to eat what I need to do to be fit. And I will have less pounds, less fat, and I'll fit clothes better. And uh, I like a little better what I see in the mirror. So here I am at Sam's 30 minutes ahead of time. I, I just, I got out the door, I got dressed, put the jeans on, got dressed and headed out the door. I said, all right, let's go. Um, let's push out to this and just build up that habit. So I'm excited to see what I can find real quick. I'm real curious how this chicken alfredo is going to come out because I'm going to meal prep. I'm going to meal prep this for the week and see what happens. So I'm excited about that. I, I'm loving my food processor. My food processor is a game changer. It's, it's really making me think of different ways of preparing my food in a tracked way that I want to create. And also prep it and prepare it and chop it up, get it all mixed together so that when it's time to go out to eat or whatever, I could just da 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 eat what I need to eat. And it, it's just sped up my food prep time and it's made me curious to try new things 
like what I'm about to do today. So it's a game changer. Uh, you level up. You keep messing with stuff, you're going to level up. You keep you keep messing with stuff, you're going to level up in it. If it's weight loss, food, fitness, things like that, you keep, keep messing with it and pay attention to, to your results. Like what I've been doing with the calendar, um, you're going to get some changes. And I really do feel that way. All right, so... I'm going to get off of here because I want to keep this concise to document what I am actually doing, what I'm actually eating, and I haven't eaten anything yet, and that's the video. All right.